Hello, I'm Leanne Hagen. Today, we will be exploring Google Sheets. Google Sheets has many features that can help you work more efficiently in the classroom, especially when analyzing data. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Google Sheets. As teachers, we're always looking for ways to make our lives easier. Today, we're going to look at our favorite ways to use Google Sheets in the classroom. We use Google Sheets to organize lists, to analyze Google Form data, to summarize assessment data and growth, and we like to use Sheets to do the math for us. Google Sheets can help you to organize a list of students that you want to share with your team. This Google Sheet is used to share information with others about when positive contacts have been made with a student. In order to make this easy to read, we're going to use conditional formatting to make it so that the row will highlight when I check the box in the first column. So I'm going to show you how to set up that conditional formatting. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the data where we want that conditional formatting to apply. So I've highlighted my entire chart. I'm going to click Format and then Conditional Formatting. Now, what I want this to do is I want it to highlight the row when I check the box. So what we're going to do is come down here to Format Rules. We're going to apply a custom formula. And this formula that I'm going to give you is one that you can use to, to set up conditional formatting with checkboxes every time. So I'm going to type equals dollar sign a2, and that means that's the first cell that it's going to start with, and then it's going to do every checkbox in column A, and then I'm going to put equals true. Then I want to change the color just because I like to change the color, and then I'm going to click done. Now my conditional formatting rule is there. So if I make a positive contact with student seven, I'm going to come in, I may type my name in, I may put the contact date, and then if I check the student off, what's going to happen is the whole row is going to highlight in that yellow color, and that's going to let my team know quickly that that student has already had a contact made. This gets better and it works better once there's more data on the chart and once there's more checkboxes. It's easier to identify those students who I still need to reach for a positive contact. So this is one way that we can apply conditional formatting to make our lives easier using Google Sheets. When you collect information using a Google Form, a Google Sheet can be created to allow you to look at the data that you've collected. This particular Google Sheet was created from a Google Form that was collecting information about a field trip. So this gives the student's homeroom teacher the t-shirt size that they need, as well as the lunch choice. I'm going to show you how you can use filters in order to look at a smaller group of students rather than looking at the whole group at the same time. So the first thing that I'm going to do is highlight the title cells. So I've got those highlighted. And then I'm going to click Data. And then I'm going to click Create a Filter. So when I do that, what you'll notice is these little funnels show up beside each of those titles. And that's going to allow us to funnel the data. So if I want to find out, for example, how many extra small t-shirts I need to order for this field trip, all I have to do is click this filter, and then I've given so many options. I can sort it from A to Z. I can sort it backwards. But what I like to do is filter by values. When I do that, I'm going to start by clicking clear, and I wanted to find out how many extra small t-shirts I needed. So when I click clear, all of these checkboxes go away. I'm going to check only extra small. And then when I do that, it's going to allow me to see just how many extra smalls I need, and that's all I've got here. 
What's great about this is, of course, I can easily see that I only need two on this one because it's such a small data set. But when that data set gets larger, what I can do is highlight the numbers right here. And what happens at the bottom of Google Sheets is it gives you a count. So if you'll look right down at the bottom right, it says count two. Let's say there were 46. That would be much easier than counting 46 rows. So that filter is going to allow me to sort just by that. Now, if I want to clear that, I can just come back to select all and I'm going to get everything back. I didn't that time. Sorry. <laughs> I have to click OK. Um, and then what's going to happen is it's going to give me all of my data back. You can sort by any of these rows. And if you just wanted to sort without getting rid of everything, then you can sort it that way as well. So this is an easy way to look at data in lots of different directions, especially if you are sharing that information with a team. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.